the element on the periodic table, <laughs> what would you be and what? I've worked a lot with arsenic <laughs> in the past, okay. but I don't know if I would want to be arsenic because it has no isotopes. If it was boron, it would be because it, I would be in everything. It would just, you can't get rid of it. It's just there all the time. If I had to choose, I would probably be hydrogen because it's very light. It can, it's everywhere. It was there at the beginning. It will be there at the end. I think carbon. Okay. Carbon. Well, because carbon is, okay. carbon is the basis of, of all life on Earth. I could actually see everything, be everywhere. That would be great. I would be cesium because I would explode when I touch water. <laughs> so welcome to the geochemistry laboratory. This is actually the first place that new core material comes because several of the analyses that we have to do on it require pretty rapid turnover. We're basically uh, tasked with doing the major chemistry of the fluids that we collect on this cruise. You know, we're looking at these mud volcanoes at the bottom of the ocean where the fluid comes up from the subducting slab and the fluid is dewatering fluid, so it's water actually formed within the earth and then this water drives processes, alteration processes in the earth as it comes up to the surface. If you've got CO2 coming up from either very deep in the earth from the mantle or from the destabilization of carbonates uh, when the subducting plate uh, uh, gets deep, then the CO2 can actually react with hydrogen and make either methane or um, organic molecules. This is very interesting because it's kind of linked to the uh, origin of life problematics. So going up to the core deck, there will be a couple different samples taken right away. We start off with measuring pH and alkalinity and chlorinity. The other thing that we cut right out of the core, that's a section of core that will be used to measure pore water analyses. It's basically a 27 centimeter section of core that will actually be brought up here and squeezed to remove its interstitial water. Because what people want to do, a lot of us want to do, is look at the chemistry of that water. My main job is to squeeze mud that comes up in um, some presses get the fluid out and then um, we analyze some of the fluid on the ship for its chemistry and we also take samples to take back home and to analyze in our in more sophisticated labs back home. We're targeting three seamounts on the Mariana Four Arc. One is very close to the Mariana Trench. It's about 55 kilometers away. The other one is about 62 kilometers away and the third one is 70 kilometers away. Along with the distance away from the trench the subducting slab is also getting deeper with each of these. And what we see is an amazing array and diversity of pore fluid chemistry. These serpentinites actually produce their own fluids. They are mud volcanoes, and so they actually are extruding serpentine mud with unassociated fluid, and that associated fluid has a very unique chemical composition. Uh, I hope to analyze uh, what I've sampled and find either hydrogen or hydrocarbons sample the water and analyze it for organic molecules and if I'm uh, successful enough to find them I'll try to uh, look at the isotopic composition of this gas or those molecules to try and determine whether or not they were formed abiogenically or not. We want to look at the conditions under which the fluid rock interaction has happened because this changes the physical properties of the rock um, so it can make it stronger or weaker and we expect it will make it weaker um, which is quite important when we think about earthquakes and other processes involved at subduction zones. But also these mud volcanoes, they release deep water and deep chemicals from the earth and then they're added to the oceans. We'll try and establish chemical budgets, so what is the flux of these different chemicals to the ocean? The link between life and rocks and how life is started, evolved and uh, sustained by the, the rocks and the water rock reactions is very exciting. And, very interesting, I think, from that perspective. I'm also quite a good tracer of fluid flow. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, <what> beauty. <laughs> no, no one. No. Hang on. Seems to be like it's blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't handle it. <laughs> 
け読まない。